What's up everyone? My name is Olive and I'm a Metaverse VTuber from Zenville. In this segment, I will be talking about video games, news reviews, and reaction videos. The first topic I'd like to cover is Epic Games' Unreal Engine. There's no denying Unreal Engine is taking over the gaming industry. With the recent showcase of Unreal Engine 5 Matrix Demo, the interest for UE5 skyrocketed. So, today we're gonna rewind time and dive into the history of Unreal Engine a little bit. Unreal Engine got its start in 1995 by developer and founder Tim Sweeney, but it wasn't until 1998 that he got to showcase his advancements on the engine. That May of 98, people feasted their eyes on a first-person horror-based shooter called Unreal that he released under his company, Epic Games. When Sweeney first started the engine, he wanted to make something that stood out and felt more realistic. So he hired Galaxy Sound to integrate EAX and all real technologies, whose job was to input sounds at specific points on the map. This really helped in getting the audience immersed. However, it wasn't always butterflies and ponies during the development stage. The renderer proved to be pretty complex. So much so that the algorithm was rewritten on several occasions. But that didn't bother Sweeney. He described his experience as incredibly enlightening in regards to his three and a half year project. And he didn't stop there. He has continued to enhance each generation of the engine. Unreal Engine 2 brought users better render times and had more quality cinematic improvements. During this time, they came out with one of my personal faves, and one that you may remember, Unreal Championship 2. Then of course, came Unreal Engine 3, which provided even more improvements to the rendering capabilities and sound quality. The graphics were more realistic as they upgraded how the lighting was rendered. Some big game titles you may recognize from this version of the engine would be Gears of War and RoboBlitz. Consoles and PCs weren't the only ones getting games using Unreal Engine. Even Androids, iPhones, and the Wii U came into play in late 2010. Four years later, the Unreal Engine 4 was released in September for free to universities and schools. And then, in 2015, Unreal became free to the public. Sweeney encouraged students and users to creatively grow without being hindered financially. Popular titles made in Unreal Engine 4 include Epic Games' bestseller Fortnite and the long-awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake, which now brings us to Unreal Engine 5, which is currently in open beta and is supposed to come out this year, 2022. It's quite obvious Unreal Engine is not going anywhere anytime soon. Major studios are starting to ditch their own game engines and start making their games in Unreal 5. One thing is for sure, the future of gaming is looking pretty good. It's been fun going into the Unreal Engine's history with you. Let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about next. 